Okay, there we go. Uh, oh, wait. Why is it not catching the game? <clears throat> there we go. <laughs> uh, speak of the digital devil. Uh, hello. <clears throat> All right, everyone, and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with... Kier, his fearsome first mate. Yeah. Again, for some reason, you're... The first bit of what you say gets caught off, so you, it sounded like it sounded like your name is Kier, not Drakir. Don't know why that oh, keeps yeah, happening. I, I forgot. I, I, so? It's been a while. I usually see another word before I say my name. Just yeah, for <laughs> avoid the cutout. Yeah, apparently uh, Discord is uh, has a grudge against the first half of your name. I think it's actually not Discord. If I see it in the corner, this could record me just fine. I think it's OBS. Yeah, I'm not. I'm. When, I'm not hearing the first part of your name either, so it can't be OBS since I'm getting the. No, I'm getting your audio from Discord. All right. For so I see it reacted to my name instantly, but it seems to have a slight delay on stream. Yeah, like I said, I, I'm not hearing the first part either, so it's not OBS's thing, it's uh, Discord's thing entirely. But uh, yeah, w welcome everyone back to uh, Sanzara the Hidden Portal. And uh, yeah, you can guess from the title, this is a late birthday stream, because yesterday was my birthday. But yeah, because it was that, and well, other, some other stuff, and well, the, in the weeks before that, not the weeks, the week before that, other stuff got in the way of streaming. So, yeah, we're doing <laughs> as as a bit of a double up for returning to streaming finally again, as well as, well, late birthday bit. We're doing, you know, or we're going to try and do a longer stream of about three hours today. And actually, that's Buckingham Palace and Big Ben over there. I've never actually checked out these freaking windows. <laughs> Yep, and you've been mooning the audience a bit. Twi third time with fairy bots. Anyways, then we have almost all of the map, but we are still not we're still not close to done with this game, though. Uh, so I think we still. Hmm, I'm pretty sure we won't be able to finish the game this stream, but we'll have to see how it goes. Now, though. Uh, yeah, we have a tournament to attend to at the Great Tree near Dunmore. Okay, let me double check the party. Uh, that's <laughs> that's the help button. We can't. We don't really do that. Okay, we have Bonaria, we have Tinazard, we have Oceana. I picked up Darbio, and we also have Jum Jum still with us. Um, wait, wait. Say that name again. Darbio or Jum Jum. Why do you suddenly switch to a French accent with say his name? <laughs> because I don't think uh, English really has a way of saying a U and an E immediately after each other. Um, anyways, I did a bit of a look at uh, what fairy types we could pick up to fill up all fill up uh, all the type advantages that we could have and for if, if we keep our main core of Moneria, Tinazard and Oceana we could pick up an Ice Fairy and a, and a Psy Fairy to have well to be effective against almost uh, uh, either all of the other types or most of them that we should be facing okay and well we already have one Psy Fairy that's reasonably leveled it would... Okay. <laughs> Invisible pole. And yeah, we can we know where to find ice fairies. Oh damn it. I was too slow to say Vulcan pinch. Okay, back into this and oh uh, wait, Tinazard is down? Okay. I, yeah, I completely overlooked that. Oh well, there goes an easy kill on this thing. We can still yeah, kill it easily enough, just put through sheer power. But oh well. Uh, yeah, like I said, we're going to be trying for three hours of this today, and that was a clear miss. 
Uh, in that time, we should be more than able to get rid to beat that tournament. And as well as get to... I don't know if that was a killer or, ca or a capture. Uh, it's a kill for how long it was taking. Uh, and yeah, yeah. you do another eight hours tomorrow. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, I am going to be looking at other times to possibly stream at, though, beyond just uh, 8 p.m. over here. Uh, I'm going to be looking at doing more streams in the afternoon. And yeah, just about any time that I can possibly try to put uh, in a stream without getting in the way of my... Uh, of my jobs, uh, yeah, shifts. Yes, so expect possibly very early streams before midday, even. Yeah, <laughs> I'm probably going to avoid those. The hell, why? <laughs> Come on, and ambush immediately. Why the hell was there a door opening noise there? Either way, I we're not probably not the door opening. And there was a noise of one, but yeah, we're probably going to do more afternoon streams and on a very rare occasion, maybe uh, morning. It, just uh, morning streams, depending on how things go. And it, I think that he has that one of the defense spells, seeing as how much. Yeah, that should be a lot more damage on him normally. Yeah, I, I, I do really want to have a lot of free time. So, like, if, if it's not stream like, 11 midday or something like that, I'm going to be fine with that. So, I will not be able to stream anything before 9. 9 is probably the earliest I can join on streams. Yeah, so may maybe I'll take up some solo streams uh, with games that uh, are harder to commentate or that Vicky just plain doesn't like, like that uh, audio solving audio crime solving game that we tried on a something Sunday. Uh, there was something unnerving about that one. Uh, and also I believe on her, I believe it was called. Yeah, since you're supposed to be listening the whole time. Here, here. The Tournament of the Fairy Masters has been announced. Whoever manages to get to the top of the fairy tree will receive the powerful fairy card of air. There is only one fairy card of air. Whoever uh, receives it will be sent to search for the trader Quinlan with it. Ah, uh, yeah. With that thing, we well, with that thing and an air fairy, we'd finally be able to get across those air eddies. So, oh, hello, Seamus. Bring some Seamus the Great, the Invincible. I alone will reach the top of the tower and seize the prize. I'm the true hero uh, who will bring about the downfall of the Dwarf Master. You're far too weak. Go back to your human world and play with your dollies. Would you dare to fight me? Yeah, we're over to here and we've beaten them for <laughs> before. Let's see. This time they have... Uh, okay, a Grem, a Gremor, a Stobat, and uh, a Don is here <laughs> with Garbat. Probably should have brought the Psy Fairy along for this, but oh well. <laughs> we, should oh still be able, we should still be able to get them quite easily enough, especially if we start poisoning them. Well, that's an early advantage. Oh, and I should have healed. Uh, oh dear. Yeah. Do I wonder, as you said, about Solar Stream, like. Uh, what hours will you do with these solo streams? Yeah, like really early morning. You mean when <laughs> I'm just still late. asleep or something? Yeah, we'll have to see when we can stream, uh, when we can even stream in the first place before we start deciding on that sort of stuff. Okay, I. Hmm. Okay, with Bonaria down already, this. We might lose this fight, but at least it'll be a good reminder to get freaking healed. Wait. And miss. Yeah, we're going to lose this, I think. Uh, yep, we, sh <laughs> we should have kept the Psy Fairy along with us. Uh, 
Uh, yo, come on. Only three charges. Yeah, def yeah, we're going to lose this, so we might as well speed it up. And yeah, Dark yeah. Gear. <laughs> his first appearance in battle, and his, he, the first thing he has to do is throw himself off the edge. Okay. At least it puts us back here with the door opening sound for some freaking reason. Um, no? yeah. This only hurt a bit. Let's go back to uh, London. Remember to heal. Yes, that as well. We need, but first we're going to grab the, the Psy Fairy. I don't think we'll need an Ice Fairy just yet. Mostly I... Uh, mostly I picked that one out because they have an advantage against the water fairies, and we've been seeing those be used more and more. So, yeah, Darbio, <laughs> first appearance, and from maybe even last already. So back to Dunmore, and before we start moving, we heal up. Hmm. And also, I'm just going to take a freaking drink right now. Let me wonder if I should sing your birthday song, but I'm going to spare you the torment. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, the... uh, fun fact. I've never been a fan of birthday songs. I think already in age of seven, I wanted people to stop. Uh, let's see if anyone else is. But they did it anyway. Let's have a double check. Small spirits. And that's light spells, energy spells. Okay, there we go. Insanity. More damage, but a lot less fire rate. Heavy thoughts, which is far too slow on usage. Or on you. <coughs> on mana. We're not bringing that along. Uh, defensive spells. We have only the telekinesis that they're already equipped with. We'd have to find out which of the <clears throat> which of the ma of the spell merch ma magic merchants was the word which of the magic merchants sells sci fairy you know, sci yeah, spells first, but I don't really feel like going on a well a hunt with that at the moment. So for now, yeah, we just walk over back. Hopefully, not get ambushed again immediately out of the transition point. Uh, wait, should you say first? Uh, we can do that when we get there. Okay, random cilia. Thinazar should be able to deal with this easy enough. Um, let's see. Whilst we're dealing with this... Uh, oh, another defensive spell. That can be really annoying with these fire we have not fire these nature fairies but i've said that a few times already um i've i've started work on a new screen on obs or no a new scene on obs for possible or for likely future nintendo ds streams because there is a certain trilogy of games that on the gamecube and the DS that I want to stream eventually as well. So, yeah, just working on that. We'll probably have to fine tune things a bit. I already have the overlay mostly cut out to fit things. Oh, so that's why there was an artist. Yeah, he didn't show me and I was a bit confused when there was a map or something and where he's supposed to be yeah i'll have to move uh, my digital disguise to the side more to not <laughs> to not have that hidden uh, we might end up <laughs> we might end up directly next to each other come on this one again <laughs> but yeah we'll just have to see how that goes i might act I might also change up this overlay a bunch as well to just put in a bigger screen Actually, eager you say? Yeah, I, I might have to cut into me. the chat area a bit, though. Hmm. Well, you know what it means if you come next to me, don't you? Uh, what? 
It's harder for you to escape my wrath. Oh, and only now do I notice that this one has the stupid slow spell. Ugh. Okay, it means all the more that we need to hide from this stupid mushroom. I say that and immediately I pick out and get zapped again. Uh, yeah, the AI can be pretty annoying on the, in later level. Well, not really later levels, but on higher. When it seems to me that the AI gets smarter as their level goes up. That kind of makes sense, doesn't it? True. More experienced fairy. No, we don't want to capture this thing. <laughs> We'd rather stick it on a spit and grill it with how annoying they are. Yep. Don't Case in point. <laughs> Let's see. Movement slowed and charge slow. Okay. Same in strategy, we're going to hide, charge, and then fire. Yep. With luck, we may get some extra experience before the tree fight. Yeah, I hope that this will be the last fight with this for a bit. There we go. No stupid damage lowering spell this time. Okay. I should maybe put Oceana up front to give her a bit more experience as well. Or, or, or Mancray. Hmm. How much have I just went in the mod? A few at least. Okay, are we going to get ambushed yet again? Or can we just wipe the floor with Seamus and her stone fairies this time? <clears throat> All right. Unless they change up. Don't forget up. to heal and save. Yep. There's some goodies in the distance there, but I'm not going to go after those. For now... Uh, yeah. Let's use some of these. Just to top everyone off. Man... Mancray especially, even if it is just two. <laughs> and save. Okay. Take two. And... It's the same roster this time, okay. Most of the other fairy masters that we had to redo had got different... Uh, yeah, got different fairy decks. Oops, uh. but did that one just backfire or did they just hit us at a bad time there? Either way, one down, three to go. Well... A lot of coin wasted there. Oh, we're no. still getting plenty from all the other hits that we are landing, and not that hit though, because we ran out of stamina. Okay. Uh, two more hits should do it on this one. And yeah, whilst I was looking around for what other fairy types to pick up to have a better coverage of all the types, uh. Yeah, it, it seems most of the most of the elements only have like two two evolutionary lines of fairies at most. Yeah, nature is the one with the most diversity in fairies, complete yeah, in all. It, because we have Cilia, we have Tinnifol, we have Lana, and we have no mana. <laughs> uh, this might be tricky now. Uh, there's also Blue Mela. And yeah, we killed ourselves there. <laughs> Good. That would have been a lot of experience for Mancrate if we'd survived that, but nope. Uh, but yeah, so basically all of... No, Dark even... Dark has it the hardest because they only have one, uh, one evolutionary line to their entirety and which is just three fairies in total what really i wonder yep. more yeah chaos does have a few more but dark only has the demon line so to speak 
Okay. Still managed to get a hit there somehow. And yeah, let's swap out so that at least more than one parry is getting some experience out of this. Uh, what was the other experience? Uh, are there other experience from the early ones lost? Uh, I think so, because Medinazar had leveled up to the same level earlier. Oh, new spell level in Oceana. I lost, I lost against you again. Why, oh why? And off they go. Okay, weird. Normally in games that you, everyone participates in fact will get equal amount of XP. So that's rather punishing, but we just had a lot of XP wasted. Hmm. I, I'm, I'm not entirely sure if mana is cal if experience is calculated after the fight, depending on everyone who was there. That would need to be healed first. But yeah, it could have been that a lot of experience was lost there because Mancre was the only one receiving it. Uh, Tinazard. Uh, that, that one. Yeah, that, that sounds like a system oversight power. I, I never seen that happen in any other game. Yeah, this is a pretty old game. Let's Even see. old games are not seeing this happen. I feel Even like this mostly. is a oversight. Actually, before I forget, what is Oceana's new? Okay, 2 1 here. 3 2. Uh, Call of Water and Small Waves. Do we have another Hail of Needles? Let's put that in there as a backup spell. Still, I think it's at uh, Monogag, if I. That's the, if I remember to pronounce it, the Dwarven City. That is where we will be able to get fire spells, finally. Now, though, we have another prophecy book. Can you say that again? Hmm? Monogag? Uh, In the days uh, of the fairy right. masters, the fairy card of air was the trophy of the best trainers. Only the person who defeats all of the contestants in the tournament of the best fairy masters in Sensera may carry it. And whoever carries it will determine the fate of Sensera. Because with this spell, hidden regions and new secrets open up. Whoever receives this magic should use it wisely and conscientiously. Okay, uh, not much to that one. Well, is you meant to say fire spell, right? Yeah. You said fire spiel. <laughs> Did you in Dutch or something? Mm, no, the the Dutch word for spell is spreuk. So yeah, I guess my I get I just got tongue tied again. Can, can you say that again? Spreuk. Spreuk. <laughs> okay, it sounds oddly familiar, but I'm sure from where. <laughs> Let's see, the fairy mistress from the human world. You are Eirik. You remember me? I'm Eirik, the dwarf from Tyrolim. Now that you found the Star of uh, Rule, everyone will believe that we dwarf summoned the Shadow Elves. I will win this tournament and prove, their, um, uh, prove everyone wrong. Are you ready for a just fair fairy duel? Yes. Good cause, but I need that card as well. And he has, <laughs> well, three water fairies <laughs> and the fees. Not entirely sure if we've seen fees before, but that's because all of the, all of its freaking lines just look almost exactly the same. Yeah, exactly also, this one is missing its tusk. Also, something I only just now noticed is that the pillars are different heights depending on how tall the fairies are. Uh, okay. It's a nice little detail. Uh, but yeah, we have nothing specifically against water fairies, so we will be having to swap out quite a bit to not get everyone killed. 
Since, well, we don't have protection against water effects. Okay. One, we should be able to take one more hit. Nope, quickly you move. Not Tinazar, <laughs> it would be an absolutely terrible idea to put the fire very against the water types. Okay. Oh no, they switched out. Okay, now we can pull out. Uh, now we can send out Tinazards. Okay, should be easy enough to swat once the spell is charged. Yep. Not going to waste that spell, anyways. And we still got hit for 62 damage there. Yes, just because <laughs> just because you're on the way out doesn't mean that you're not uh, going that you can't get zapped still. Okay, this time let's get them before they swap out. There we go. And yeah, that's just cleaning up the rest of the deck because that's what uh, it's I don't think we I mentioned that before but uh, a party of fairies in this game is called a deck apparently like a deck of cards sounds a bit weird well this game is based on a card game uh, I very much doubt that I haven't read of any others of any other Zenzara stuff. Like, the only other thing with Zenzara that I know of is a League of Legends player who has it as their username. <clears throat> and I think I've spoken of him before. Mm. Oh, that laughter! <clears throat> Experience for everyone but Jum Jum. <laughs> I have failed. Dear. Now I can never prove that my uh, people are innocent. These are hard times for us dwarves. And off he trots. <clears throat> okay, another room. And hello. Welcome to the Great Tree of the Swamp. May I offer you some healing potions for your travels? Yes, please. Thank you. Medium ones at that. Okay. Nice. Each of these doors should be a checkpoint for loading in. Oh. Yep, sorry, someone calling me.
You back? Turn on your mic. Yep. Uh, uh, okay, as a repeat, uh, yeah. I'm extending the stream by five minutes just because people put, uh, called me away for completely asinine stuff they could have done themselves. Uh, Yay? And yeah, we're fighting Seamus, the guy we got the seg bus for, and he has a blue mela and a sim god, which is the, well, the, it's the final stage of the core god and war god line. And you made just, it. Just... You made the grubs? Yep. <laughs> they become this. Okay, now they actually look terrifying. <laughs> and beyond that, he has a stobat and, of course, a seg buzz. So, yeah. First off, the Tinazard to deal with the nature fairies. No, he's starting in reverse order. Okay. Yep. Chaos good against water, but bad against nature and fire. So I could have kept uh, Tinazard on the field there, but I'll I'll spare him for. Oh no, you freaking don't! I'll spare him for the nature fairies. Speaking of. And of course, it has that spell. Uh, this game has multiplayer, and I guess when that would have been active, any spells that are uh, that slow down the opponent's spell charge would have been probably a meta, because of how freaking annoying they are. Yeah, most likely. Yeah, just we we got hit multiple times there, and we, our spell didn't progress anything at all. Okay, where are you? And, of course, we miss. In the, in the meantime, he's just whittling us down because we have only this stupid fire spell and we have... We have to wait for it to charge this long. Yeah, we, we seriously need to get more fire spells. Yeah, but for that, we need to progress through the story to get to the freaking Dwarven City. Still, one more hit should be enough. As proven. And Blue Mela. And, and of course we get poisons. It doesn't look so blue. Okay, just gotta get in the swapping out because he's going to die. Yep. And I forgot this. <sighs> Got to recharge the spells on Oceana again. Still, what we have. It should be enough to deal with red mains. There we go. He tried to fl he tried to pull back, but we still got them. And Sagvas just buzzes off. <laughs> okay, then Ben Cray can finish up the Stobat or Fastbat. I really can't tell the difference between the only one that really seems different is the final evolution, and that was a self hit. <laughs> I'm pretty sure of that. So bat. Only not 69, damn it. And not is it. This stream is cursed already. <laughs> okay. But where could lot of you I don't even throw the yoke yet! <laughs> what the heck? What's this little guy? He's just very really happy. Ask, yeah, what do I ask it? Does Stobat spend a lot of time with stoves? Let's see. I lost in spite of my seg boss. Perhaps it's not as good as I always thought it was. Take it back. I'm going to go uh, look for a new favorite fairy. Okay, just <laughs> ditch it the moment it doesn't prove strong enough. So yeah, we get this stupid thing back. And yeah, let's heal up this time before we can get ambushed yet again. Okay, first off, Oceana gets mana back, and then the healing. I don't like either the guy just speed and if they just do that. We're probably going to need to stock up on healing potions again, but we already know how freaking cheap they are, and we have almost 3,000 freaking coins. Hello? 
And the garlic atomizer. Not much of use in a tournament, but oh well. I think I said I was going to stock up on those as well, just to be able to get rid of all of the random spawns. Hello there. Human girl has become a fairy mistress. I don't believe that Quinlan's a traitor. He often visited this place, and I know him well. He'd never betray us to the Shadow Elves. If you want the fairy card of air, you'll have to pass me first. So, our first fight indoors with this tournament. And let's see, Elana, of pretty low level compared to everything else at the moment. A Fazreal, a Tinnus Malfoy, all of these are pretty low level. A Tinnerog, which is the nature fairy, <laughs> which is the nature version of the Tinnerfall tree. It's riding a winged frog. What the heck? Okay, so nope. yeah, Tinnosaur should be able to deal with most of these except for the water fairy. A lot of toad dragons in Warhammer Fantasy. Do in Warhammer Fantasy they actually look terrifying. These ones looks ridiculous. Okay, so take there this thing out. There is a wind frog creature in Welsh mythology and folklore. Oh. Really? I'm not gonna pronounce the names, but it's more than just one word for them. It is the entire name. Yep. Missed the shots. They are basically frogs without arms and legs, but they have tails and wings. Okay. And they are big enough to hunt uh, livestock. So they're basically winged tadpoles. <laughs> yeah, that's what it sounds like. <laughs> The way they draw the scrub is more just. It's just not a tablet, it's just basically just a. I can't believe I say this, a hopeless frog. <laughs> okay, we're going to have to swap out. Uh, Bonaria, you've proven useful enough throughout the game. Or use, <laughs> you've been just plain proven useful throughout the entirety of the game since the start. Oop, they got away with uh, that. Yep. And basically that the usual thing about this the very thing you start with. Yep. I, I, I didn't mean to swap out there. Uh, back to Bonaria. That is what I wanted to do. I wanted to swap spells. Uh, uh, there they are. Uh, there they were. Okay. Frog time. Not a critical hit, so we didn't poison. Or do we have the dif disable critical hit spell uh, protecting them? Could be that. Or I'm just getting unlucky with critical hits. <laughs> Either way, frog is gone. Lana and Tinnifal remain. Hmm. Still have to think on what fairy we might want to make a 3D model of. Uh, Make, make a 3D, uh, uh, a 3D printed model statue, whatever. The, I, I'm blanking on words here. We'll, we'll still have to, yeah, we'll, we'll have to pick what to fairy to you to well pick for that. And the, the first one you picked, of course. Yeah, Celia, could work. Yeah, the, the one that's just been busy with our flagship, <laughs> metaphorically. Uh, then again, there is another, there is another fairy that I really, really like, but we'll have to get to the dwarf city first before we can find that, because they spawn in only one area. Or actually, I'm not okay. even sure if they actually even spawn naturally or not. Hmm. And the spell level on Tinazard, which again is going to be useless until we get there in the first place. And Jum Jum finally gets some levels from stolen experience. Oh, poor Quinlan. Fetch the card, it's up on the top of the tree. I don't believe those evil rumors. Rumors with a 
Oh, you? That's a first, I think. Usually when I see it written, it's uh, just M-U-R... Oh, Hello, Gandalf. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's how it's... Us. I think that's how it's supposed to be spelled. Though it might be a case of a American and British spelling. Could be. Often enough. Greetings, Amy. Well done, Amy. You defeated all the fairy masters. You alone are worthy of receiving the fairy card of air. Use it to reach the distance regions. Uh, yeah, use it to reach the distance regions of Sanzara. Now there is nowhere the traitor Quinlan can hide. Uncover his sinister game with the Shadow Realm and free Sanzara from this curse. Take this card and use it with an active air fairy. That way you will be able to use all the eddies in the air for your mission. I will now return to my realm. So, motherfucker could have come down from his lofty air palace at any time. He just decided not to. Maybe we should call him Gandalf the Jackass. Or Jackass the White. Uh, you want to know something funny about the name Gandalf? Go ahead. It's an actual Norse name the Vikings used to use. Okay. And I can translate it. To... Wand Elf. Okay. <laughs> Would have been hilarious if it translated to Jackass. Yeah, sorry, it's not Jackass, but it's still rather... In a way, almost cheesy if you think about it. Even for, especially if you're Tolkien, like, what should I need this wizard? Wand Elf. Okay. Like, really? Well, now that we have the Fairy Card of Air, we should be able to move to basically anywhere in Zanzara. Unless there's just no way to get there in a straight line. Uh, but first off, there's a boulder here that we I kind of want to deal with. Because that's been... Well, it's been there since the start of the game. Because this is the very start of the game. <laughs> but first, let's see if Rafi has anything to say. Sadly, the dwarf art of smithery has often been ill-used. And many important magic uh, places in Zanzara have been closed by indestructible iron gates. No fairy card and no spell will help you there. It's, well, it's not too much known, but, uh, well, since, maybe more so since uh, the fairy type became a, well, a type in Pokemon, but in folklore, fairies do not like iron at all, like it is poison to them. So it makes sense that iron bars would be able to, well, bar them from passing. Yeah, that is very true. And the no, fairies is something that's specific, like it needs to be... Oh, uh, raw iron, like, like if you use an industrial iron, it won't work. But back in the days, it was not never industrial iron. You, it was just iron just hooked up right, uh, just straight from the ground or moss even. Yes, you could destroy enough iron to force swords from moss. <laughs> okay. Mountain moss, of course, but still, yeah. I, I, I forgot the name of the, the iron, but yeah, it's ra rather raw. Okay. And you need to hand forge it. Let's see. I, I don't think Amy will just pull out a dagger at any point, so we'll have to find a key instead, like Rafi is saying here. You'd better try to find a key to the iron gates. I'm afraid I don't know where you might find it, but why don't you try the legendary white cathedral of Sanzara? I have long suspected there there is some kind of link between the power of sky and earth. Okay. Hmm. First off, though... First off, a blue mela, apparently. Uh. What the...? This is going to get slapped in one shot. Okay, that caught me off guard. You know, like the amount of skin. That and the <clears throat> size. Okay. Probably could have captured them because they are a pretty cute design. But we can find no. We can find 
Lumelas in plenty of places. Right. Now we're just going Bane to have some construction done. Uh, what? What just happened? Uh, you could, I guess, you could say that Jum Jum just rumbled that rock to dirt. Oh, mm -hmm. he did. I was wondering, did that rock just implode? <laughs> no. Hmm. I thought this would actually lead somewhere else, but apparently not. I, I'd forgotten that there's an elevator here. Uh, yeah, and so we're back in the realm of clouds with Amy probably needing a, a minute <laughs> to stop being dizzy. Just watching that makes me want to reach for my bucket. And, oh, it seems we're getting a bit of an early introduction to uh, that last fairy type that I was alluding to. So, right. let's see. I actually think there's... I believe there's somewhere in the game that you can look up the chart of elements as well. For now, Tinazard, you take front stage, and everyone else is decent on health except for Bonaria. Oh, we... Don't think I remember. Now, I think it's called Wrought Iron. Okay. And yeah, don't bring steel to a fair for steel apparently has no effect on them. Okay, this is immediately into combat. These are the metal fairies. What the heck? Yeah, they're basically fairy robots. <laughs> With Mineria, and then Megari. There is a third one, actually. And, oh, this is another fight where it's, oh, wait, what? I thought fire was effective against these guys. It, it, it makes sense to have fire be effective against them. Uh, who, else, who is it then that's effective? Is it water? Oh, we're, defec we're defended against their attack, so it is water that is effective. Wait, hold on. You meet them all at the same time. Uh, not all of them. One is a pack of two. But, yeah. They don't play oh, fair. fair? Uh, we we've had a we've had multi fights before. Just need to uh, yeah deal with them as quickly as possible. With a fair, we could do that. Yeah, we wouldn't be able to control that many fairies at once, anyways. And I guess the fairy AI on our side would be rather not bright. Yeah. Yep. Just pop back in. Let's see, what were they guarding? Oh, one of these again. Simple enough. Tools of the Dwarves. An ancient forgotten tool which was once used by the Dwarves to forge their artificial fairies. And another those, one. They made those fairies? Yep. Another pair. And another one of these. And another two. We could have just put those in one box and made them have it be six. <laughs> but yeah, that's all that's here, apparently. I'm pretty okay. sure even our own fairies would be getting seasick with how much they're moving backwards even for this. Oh, hello. Uh, also, I think I puked in your peg legs. <laughs> and that's a fifth pixie. I miss another Vulcan pinch. <laughs> yep. No! I'm getting hmm. rusty. I think we've been away for two weeks. <laughs> Lumella. Okay, just give you a smack and be done with it. Uh, but yeah, I guess that me. Hmm? You know the Red. evolved form? Uh, no, I think they're a single stage fairy. All right. Yeah, definitely catch that one then if they are good. That's more for the design. 
These the toasters sign. too loud. Yep. They were there the, of all the fairies, I'd say Lumela is probably the most classical fairy design in the game. I would say I we kinda agree with you. Though she's probably unusually just heaviest variant I've seen in a game like this. Well, in most folklore, uh, Lumella would be more accurate to cartoon depictions of fairies. Because in folklore, I believe most fairies are just plain nudists. Yeah. And I believe this is the shop. And there is that Swan probably cursing at us because we traded them in for a freaking sack buzz. Okay, just buy a bunch of these. A bunch of these. I'm going to make sure that I have more than plenty of them. And then a bunch of these. Would have been nice if we could batch buy them, but oh well. Okay, good amount. Come on. There were many games around this time that already by years I had done stash by buying, or stack buying. Uh, let's see, might as well talk about some healing herbs. There we go. And magic merchants. Let's see what they've got. Hmm. I'm thinking stone. Okay, just shop and crate. Oh, no, water and stone. Okay. That's I'm gonna say rock and stone. <laughs> oh, thorn armor. If that I remember correctly, right, no damage per hit for five hits. Wait, what? Yeah. yeah, light spurs. That is, yep, recharge eighty percent slower. That is that freaking annoying spell that has been used against us over and over. Slight insanity and nothing else. There, there is. I have said this before, but there is an item somewhere that um, increases the chance of a spell appearing, or at least it lowers the chance of a blank appearing. I believe is the exact wording. Okay. Um. Let's. See. Uh, I'm very confused. For an armor, usually, like. Usually for me, Mom is uh, when something hits you, they get hurt back. But this form just blocks damage. Really? Yep. Then why is called full armor? Hmm, <laughs> might have been before retribution damage was really called thorns in start. For now, let's see. What is our reward for 15? Yep. Really? 50 coins? <laughs> we can get 50 coins just by falling out of a freaking tree. You make nature spells, probably. Yep. Oh, oak skin. New spell. Hits cause 80% less damage. Also for 5. Falling rocks, hail of needles. I was oak about skin. to say it's complete blanks. But there should be oak armor. That would make sense. That honestly, oak it oak is tough. All right. Now, if I remember correctly, there are still some areas over this way that were blocked off previously. We got rid of the thorn bush, but I believe there was still a rock blocking a pathway. Or was that the other path from a <clears throat> from the Elven village? Yeah. Uh, I just remember something here. No, oh, it was here. Fun fact: the, the, Have you heard the term iron wood? I believe so. Yeah. It usually comes up sometimes in uh, games and such, but it's actually a real 
type of classification, if I remember right. Um, let's say this. If you plan to saw through a iron root cloth type of wood, you're not using a regular saw. For it, they would break against it. Yeah. <laughs> With a name like Iron Woods, uh, it would be expected that they would be hard to break. Yeah, they, they need specialized cutters to cut through. And yeah, this is what I was looking for. I think most of those cutters they use for Iron Wood is usually strong enough to cut steel. Okay. I, mean, I don't know if they really? were used in medieval time for anything, since, well, probably not the easiest thing to cut down a build with to begin with without proper tools. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, strange human. Isn't this a wonderful place? I should be working in the town hall of Tyrolin, uh, but I'm such an enthusiastic fairy collector, I feel much happier here. I have been to the strangest places in Zora has to offer. See my collection of ice fairies? They make me unbeatable. You can try if you like. Well, we all know what uh, comes after hubris. Let's see, he has a glacis, he has two feces, and two greases. And the again, this, the only fangs. thing that's different. <laughs> uh, yeah, the fangs are different, and the fact that uh, grease lost a bit of <laughs> lost a bit of pudge in the yeah, evolution. And bigger wings. Yep. Okay, so this is going to be all tinnifold. Oh, this is uh, a new map. Oh yeah, it is. And someone needs to be healed uh, later after this. Yeah. And yeah, the ice fairies, or all of the ice fairies in the game are just glazes and the teddy bear collection. Ah, damn it. Where are you? I'm not going to be able to land this shot, I think. Oh, I I actually managed to get that shot after all. That was that, that was a lucky nice shot. And now I have a uh, yep. blush bear collection. <laughs> Alright, fine! Hey. Bear harem, happy now. <laughs> Were you shaking your head in terror over there? <laughs> uh, I'll leave that to your own interpretation. I would go. take that as a terror. There, this way. Okay, there, somewhere over there. Where are you trying to go? Up down there. <laughs> Just as we get out, they get in here. <clears throat> May fluff okay. uh, Come on. Oh, now I, I remember another random fact. Hmm? You, you want to know where the polar bear's ancestor came from? Uh, where then? Africa? <laughs> Ireland. <laughs> okay. Irish yes, polar people. bears, that would be a thing. The polar bears are, <laughs> in a way, Irish. They're from Irish brown bear. They probably got there right, well, where, yeah, probably during the Ice Age where they could reach it. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe there are limits to the Ice Fairy's uh, powers after all. Take this key, it will open the door to, of the town hall of Tyrolin. I'm afraid I don't have anything more valuable to give you. Okay, so that is that. Okay, I'm... I'm not sure if I've ever gotten this stupid key. Wait, yes, hold I on. He, he... He was a random stranger. A very important key. <laughs> uh, yep. <laughs> Now, I believe each of these waterfalls is a spot from which you can summon water fairies to fight. But what is also of interest here is that uh, this cave here, it leads to the dark caves. 
Oh dear. Are and we gonna need the door are a bit bigger. Oh, okay. I know that. Okay, this effect is about fairies. Have you heard about Dollahan? Uh, the headless ones. I think you brought them up before. Yeah. I was sure I mentioned back then that not many people know that they were a fairy. You brought that up as well, I think. Uh, oh, yeah. I, I might have brought it up before. Yeah, I know sure you brought them up. Brought up the fairy parts. Let's see. Uh, the Ultima series has something similar to the Donahans and, well, the, the headless enemies and hello. Big healing yeah. potion. Most the games Firestone. that bring up Dollahan usually do the night version. You know, the earliest version was just a headless man on a carriage drawn by a headless horse. Yeah, so basically the headless horseman, but carriage. Yeah. Yeah, no, he still had his head. Just, they carried the head with them. Okay. And the head still spoke and screamed. And the uh, weapon of choice was... A whip made up of a spinal cord. Yeah, I think and you brought that up. Now I'm gonna tell you what they used it for. But I only recently remember what they used it for. Like, if you saw... You're only supposed to see it when your time is has come, says especially a reaper. However, okay. if you accidentally he ac noticed you accidentally see him, he will take the whip and whip both your eyes. Okay, a bell tower should be easy enough. And we were supposed to heal someone. And, okay, did. Does this one have the stupid reflection spell again? Yes, it does. Bye-bye, coins. Good gosh. It, the idea of being whipped by eyes is terrifying. Yeah. And a whip made of spinal cord just makes it worse. Because there's no way in hell that isn't, that isn't getting infected afterwards. Yeah, all before you accidentally saw him. Uh, okay. Well, I guess whoever needed healing leveled up because they, well, they <laughs> didn't need as much healing anymore. Nope. Oh, hello. And another mentor. A lot lower level. The previous one was level forty. This one's twenty-seven. Mentor. Okay. It sounds so so weird name, mentor. You are a lot more tanky. Uh, have you seen the thing? Yeah, it is chunky. And it killed us by reflecting damage back at us. That is really freaking annoying. Thank you for the mental image. Of it reflecting spells back by just bouncing off its belly. So basically, uh, Poe from Kung Fu Panda. But spells. Oh, gods. Well, that made the game seem much worse. Okay, we already have one of you. Okay, revive you. And heal you up. You can use a bit. But other than that, we're good for the moment. So where the hell is this going? Tirnanog? Wait, no, it probably not take you to Tirnanog. Hmm, Agatha? This place is a lot bigger than I actually ex you know, than I actually remember. Yep. Man crane. I'm just surprised you don't try to eat the mushrooms. And at the very least, we're getting good experience for Bonaria from this. As long as she's not getting zapped with her own spells. There we go. And those are gone. <laughs> uh, not another level. Let's... Uh, 
Um, and Gamola. Let's see, I'm trying to think of what... Another split? Wait, are, are we turned back around here? I think we've... I think we... Yeah, we've passed through this before here. Okay. Um, yeah. Let's stick to going left this time. Just scare them off. No mood to fight any more of them. Okay, this way with the little I, waterfall next to it. I never heard of fairies disliking garlic. Wait. Are we back at the start again? Oh dear. Right. I gotta grab some sandwich. And here the Don't He's die. lost in the cave. You'll be fine. Don't worry. It's and not yeah, the first the time you got lost in a cave. Hmm. I thought there was somewhere that this place led to instead of just looping around. Hmm. Or am I just completely missing it or something? We got some. We got some goodies out of this. Is there any path that I missed or anything? It's a bit. Oh, wait, that was our only garlic atomizer. I thought we had more, but oh well. There we go. Easy fights. Okay, we can check around the cave a bit more. And then we can just teleport out. Okay, just give me your gold and piss off. Let's see. That's where we got the Firestone. This is here. Another man crater swat out of the sky. Or out of the astral plane, if, if I can land a bully hit, that is. Here. I might just start fleeing from battles if they get too much or too annoying. <clears throat> it will have cost, of course cost us in later fights. But for the moment we should be good. Let's see, this just loops around the pillar. And this just heads back towards the entrance, I think. Yep. Hmm. I, I really thought this led somewhere, but apparently not. Um. Hmm. Let me think. There is still a... There is still something blocked... Uh, was it a boulder or a gate? Uh, near the, the, the... Not the cottage. Hmm. Wait. Dunmore, Realm of Clouds, Mountains. I, I thought there was a rune for the forest huts. But if there was, we missed it. Hmm. For a moment, though, then, I believe... Hmm. I actually don't know where to head now. I believe we're supposed to head for the... Are we supposed to head for the Shell Realm? I'm not actually sure at the moment. And I am back, and did I hear talk about shameful display? I don't think I mentioned those words, in, or at least intentionally, but then again, my memory is known to be an issue. I, I heard mention of fleeing? <laughs> that an act of shameful display? 
Yeah, if we get harassed with too many fairies, I might choose to flee if the well, if the option is open, which with higher levels is often not the case. Yeah, I think we're supposed to start go exploring around and looking for wherever the hell <clears throat> Quinlan might be hiding. Helian, in this ship, we use the term tactical retreat. Yep. And of course, this stupid thing has the spell that negates damage, so we're just going to piss off instead of wasting mana. Yeah, that was thorn armor on that fairy. And yeah, I'm just, I'm just not going to waste mana on them. Instead, instead, we're going to get harassed by another mushroom. Okay. The option to flee is here. Just let this charge. Yep. Oh, come the hell on. I, I really don't have the patience at the moment to, to just... We could just swap to a different fairy and just throw out some rapid fire spells, but I'm not in the mood. <laughs> But yeah, that, that would be the easiest way to get around Thorn Armor and Oak Skin. Just launch a few uh, weak, uh, <clears throat> some fast weak attacks at it. And that should be able to deal with it. Now, I believe we can progress from here. There is this little chain of islands that goes that way. Now, I think we're supposed to go this way. I'm not entirely sure. But and again, they didn't really... Tell us, uh, give us a, a location to go to. Yep. Oh, the, the cathedral. Uh, uh, yes, that Rafi did make mention of the, that the key for the iron gates might be at the, the white cathedral. But I don't, oh no! Let's first take a look down this way, and let's not immediately walk into the muck from the transition. Oh uh, no! Okay. I guess this is why. Well. I have a flashback from the amphibia we watched today. Okay, that is why we need to go to the White Cathedral because the Shadow Elves built an iron gate around them. Wait, wait, say that again. Mm -hmm. The Shadow Elves built you... an iron gate for the White Cathedral. You, yeah, you still didn't say cathedral. You said Cthulhu. I'm <laughs> pretty sure I didn't, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's what I, I like the thought. Wait, that was no way near cathedral. Okay, let's just head over here. Actually, there was a path here that was also blocked by a boulder. So it's it's probably <laughs> behind that. For now, though, we have a lure at the SWAT. What do we... Okay, what was with the reds there? <laughs> Oof. Hmm. Actually, starting to tire early already. Yep. Didn't mean to capture, but oh well, it ends the fight earlier. Hmm. <clears throat> Uh, nope, let's not capture because we already have one. Hmm. Yeah, are we starting to get a bit tired? But oh, this is why we needed to. The, we needed the air court to get over here. We're still going to try so, for a three-hour stream. I'm so happy we didn't need to walk the entire way of that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, let's try not to die here. Okay, I forgot. I, I forgot to actually you hover. Um. Uh, yeah, I'm like, you died anyway. Just <laughs> okay. not for what I. Just not for what I thought you would die, die from. Um, <laughs> yeah, let's. What the fuck was that? Uh. Oh, hello, Shadow. Up. Oh, I see sparkles. We've probably been missing quite a few of these. 
And, okay, that's how we get to those goodies. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's forget about how... <laughs> How Amy phased through reality and fell into the back rooms. Uh. I, I should have watched more of those videos. So, Crossy Tabal, what you done, no scorsy? Alright, the pesky human girl at last. David Tennant? These people, they silly loves are going to have really bad neck aches if they keep swinging their heads back and forth like freaking maracas. Uh, I've been waiting for you for a long time. I was posted in this dreadful, uh, dreadful place to put an end to your journey once and for all. Please don't think I'm enjoying this. I loathe this dizzying height and the constant bright light. Let's begin the fight at once. I must get back to my Shadow Realm. Let's see. A Leticia. Whoa. Yeah, it is the end of the, uh, well, this line of fairies. And here we have, well, the air tinnifle. Is that not okay? <laughs> it looks derpy as all hell. And the tinnifle is very excited, apparently. A Cirilla. A Skilljaw. And Aria. Uh right. <laughs> Isn't there supposed to be Luria between Aria? And Syria, or are they a sip node? I believe there are only two air fairy lines, uh, except for Tinevas, which is the male and female version. So does that mean that they're a four fairy line? Or am I just missing something completely? Maybe. Either way, easy enough to burn them up as long as we keep a charge and keep a line of sight. And switching from one air fairy that's vulnerable to fire to another isn't useful. There we go. Instant kill. Bone area for the chaos fairy. It is hiding over here. Wait, that was normal damage. Okay. In a vest, which is very speedy, actually, as you can see. Okay, just one decently charged shot, and they'll be done. Yeah, very speedy. These are. This is a Chaos Fairy, right? Yes, we take less damage from the. There we. Ah. <laughs> Freaking spin spell. Where are you? It's actually swapped out, so we swap out again. It's like a freaking game of tag, isn't it? Just swap, 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 swap. And that basically, uh, when you make the golden shant, when you make them swap the deck. Okay, just keep this up. One or two hits on this one should be able to deal with it. Yep. Or just one shot entirely. Hmm. Uh, I'll have to look again into the evolution line of the air fairies because... Mips. <laughs> we have this one, we have the other two, and then we have Luria. So, are they separate lines or what is up with that? They are heroes as well, and they look strong. Hmm. There you are. And there's victory. <laughs> Just sniped him over the edge. Headshot, even. See? That should be a level, yep. Almost level 40. Nothing for Oceana. And node level for Tin for Tinazard. Finally, finally I can leave. <laughs> He's just happy to piss off. Okay. Let's grab some loot. Healing potion. Oh, hello. 
silver sphere. Thank you. I. It has been a while since we've been to the, this, to the spheres uh, trader in Tyrolin, but I do like that they have the option to trade in low-level spheres for higher-level ones. That way, when you find a silver sphere out in the open, you'll still go for it, even though on levels it won't be as useful. And hello there. Lying cathedral in pure white. This world is amazing. Amy finally showing some amazement at everything that's going on and stuff, just reacting like a potato. And hello, Gandalf the uh, slow. You're just in time, Amy. Here's another piece of evidence of the dwarves' guilt. This insidious dwarf broke into my palace and tried to steal from me. Oh, he's grumpy looking. But I caught him and trapped him behind this impenetrable ma magic barrier. Okay. Am I the one find this fishy? Am I the only one who just heard a crunch sound off the side there for some reason? Hmm. Oh yeah. I think. Too. I thought you meant you could hear me chewing, but. Yeah, I heard a crumb sound that was not me. Okay, odd. Let's see. The cathedral. Isn't it beautiful? Full of purity and peace. No one, not a dwarf, nor a shadow elf, and even a human like you can ever change that. Prophecy may predict change, but I will not allow it to disrupt my peace. Heed my words. Guild of the Dwarves. Uh, Quinlan the Dwarf Master be cursed. This traitor supports the shadow elves. We must stop him. Do you have any doubt uh, to, uh, as to the dwarves' guilt? Well, maybe the Quinlin, but not to the rest of the dwarves. You conquered the dwarf artifact in my arena yourself. It obviously came from the dwarf master. Well, that, that saying someone ran someone over just because their car ran them over, but that doesn't mean that the, the, the person who owned the car was behind the steering wheel and you might want to clean this place up a bit, to uh, put up some guardrails. Yeah, uh, the way he's hammering about that is suspicious. See, golden carrots. Use the legendary gold carrot with a fairy of your choice in the object menu to increase the experience points so that you only need one more point to reach the next level. This Wait. is this game's version of a golden. Yeah, you know, not a. This is this version's. Yeah, you know, this game's version of a rare candy. Except it doesn't actually level them. It just brings them to the absolute brink of leveling. Um, well, Helian. Hmm? Is the golden carrot in Minecraft a reference to this game? I doubt that. But it is a coincidence. It is. It is a, a, a pretty big coincidence. Let's see, light surge. Enchanted lights. We should be able to get access to light fairies. Oh, come on. Reasonably soon enough. We're, we're going into the showroom at one point or another, and I believe we can get light fairies before that. Lucky dip. 60% more damage on a critical hit. Okay. Let's do two more. And then we'll call it... There was that crunch sound again. What the hell? Is that the... Is that the white druid eating or something? Well, I, I mean, today they you shocked or something, but... I know I heard a crunch as well when I was not chewing. And it's not, and this chocolate here is not really that crunchy to begin with. Oh, hold on a second. We know this dwarf. Amy, help me. It's Lass again. Don't believe a word the druid says. A dwarf would never steal anything. I was only searching for a hint on where I might find my father, Quinlan. Then I found this valuable old dwarf key. It's the key to the hidden dwarf factory in Monagag. Or Monagam. Use it. That's the only place you can find out what happened in Tuzan what happens to Zanzara. 
Don't let the druid's glory blind you. Go to Monagam. Yeah, uh, Monagam. Yeah, Monagam. The a forgotten key to the old factory of the dwarves. But then we need to find our way to the freaking dwarf city in the first place. <laughs> oh, hello. Even herb. Do you have anything new? No. Okay. Then... Oh. Monogam, this village of the dwarves. Okay, in the... Oh, of course it's in the mountains. But it must be behind one of the gates that we... One of the passageways that we couldn't pass through first. Actually, let's go to Tyrolin first, before we... Wrong mountains, I believe. <laughs> let's go to Tyrolin, since we got the key for that door in the city hall. Because I'm, I will probably forget about that if we don't go do that right now. Yeah. And there we go. And there's also still a locked gate in the catacombs that we don't have a key for. We'll just have to find that whenever we can. Well, if we can. For now, just unlock this thing. I, I, I really can't remember if I ever opened this or not. So, what is in here? Another one of these. And in it is... Oh, clover leaf. The clover leaf is useful when dealing with a spell seller. It will be automatically used to reduce the number of blanks in the selection. This is that item I was talking about. And that sounds useful. That's all in here. I, I sort of thought there would be more. Yeah, I really can't remember if I've ever gotten that before I, I, or not. Back. I've read go about back. it. Go back. You missed a few doors. Oh. It's the only one that... Well, <laughs> those are just for decoration. Just, just door wallpaper they hung up. Oh. Oh. Okay. I keep pressing the wrong buttons with that. We actually need to go to the Dwarf Tower. That's the closest, or should be the closest. And let's see. Do we have... I can't remember any place specifically here that was blocked off by a rock or air eddies. So let's just look everywhere we can. Hmm. <clears throat> There was this place still, that there was something. But actually, actually, this dwarf here asked us to find one of their ancient tools, and well, we've gotten six of them. So we can miss one. And so I would not like to fall down this thing. <laughs> ah, you have the tools. One moment, please. Okay. Anything else to say? I will help you on your way. Okay, nothing else to add then. Okay, Luria. Okay, one golden sphere. And then we can get across again to the teleport point. And that should get us to that chest, whatever it might hold. Hmm. Yeah, I really need to check out what the evolution line is with these air fairies. Hmm. During the animation, I can get a quick sip. This water bottle I've got is really useful because it has, uh, the top of it has, Ooh, I'm not going to risk this, actually I'm just going to 
save just in case. Uh, the top of it has one of those infuser things. Um, oop. That you can pull off and on. But it also... Oh, come on. <clears throat> Needs to be reactivated. Uh, it all it also has it also blocks but uh, okay Amy wasn't responding again for some reason it also has a grate along the sides of it so it it blocks off most of the the bottle's well neck so to speak which uh, allows for a lot easier time drinking it because it doesn't just try to pour everything down your throat in one go so, okay, he just reactivates them. Basically, like a, a sport bottle? Sort of, without having to, well, try and s empty out your entire lungs, suck air, all the air out of it. Or fill your entire lungs, but... But you squeeze it. Hmm. All of the helium. And... <laughs> Mm. Of you drink. Okay, let's not... without arms. <laughs> let's try not to fall to our death this time. Because it's going to be, get annoying to have to go back and forth. Yeah. Actually, should I tell people about your hands? Since they never see them? <laughs> uh, what would bear be to... Come on. <laughs> Oh, come on. Yeah. And I hate these kind of jumping puzzles. Let's give it one more shot. We have an extra hour to deal with stuff like this. But if yep. we fall again, we're just going to ignore whatever's in that stupid thing. Because I think it might... Okay, again? Not responding there? It might not be worth it what's actually in that stupid thing. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Go back a little bit. I saw for something odd. Right, and sphere there. Uh, no, no, uh, that too. I know there, but stop. Look next to you. Hey, there's a fern on the bridge. Go forward a little bit. Oh, there. Here. Yeah. Why is it there? <laughs> no idea. Maybe there's a clump of earth stuck in that thing. Uh, th there's a ladder. I've seen plants grow up riches before, but not on those kinds. It would be a lot more, less annoying if the teleport point was up here. Yep. All right, about Hela's hands. Uh, Helians have two prosthetic hands. We can switch out from just... Uh, golemic hands to just uh, like a meat cleaver, a hook. Chainsaw, sword, you're mace. <laughs> you're thinking of the chef in the amphibia. <laughs> yes. Which, I, I think we've meant. Uh, come on. There we go. Game reacting again. Uh, Am amphibia is just a really good show. I would advise anyone to give it at least a shot, but it is. It is very well, well written. Let's leave it at that. Yeah. Without giving too it, it much spoilers. Surprisingly well written. <clears throat> I'm usually surprised at how well written it is. Well, okay. yes, it usually shows out some some bad Apple episode and such. They have some bad episodes, but most of it is rather damn good. Okay, here we go. Now, was this worth it? Oh, elemental key of fire. Okay, so this was required. <laughs> oh. And we're just taking the shortcut back. So this jackass was hiding the fire key here the entire time. Okay, so that's why it was called this. That's why he called it a sacred place. Nutty heck. Okay. We'll still yeah. have to find a way to bloody Monogam. 
Yeah. Also, earlier said that I had a flashback, flashback of Amphibia earlier as well. I got flashback from Amphibia thanks to the green pants. And, uh, what's her name again? Uh, Blue Melon? Uh, no, I mean the main character here. Amy. Amy! For some reason I want to say Anne. <laughs> but yeah. The, uh, I just had flashback of uh, Newts in Tights. Why? Hey. <laughs> yeah, we're almost done watching that show and it is a bit of a bittersweet feeling. It, it, it is just a really well-written show, but yeah, every good show has to end or it has to continue on until it becomes absolutely unbearable. Uh, Simpsons, hint, hint, cough, cough. Yeah, I think I said it before. Even Simpsons, uh, uh, people that are making Simpsons are getting tired of it. And I have confessed numerous times that I are forced to work on fumes. So as quick they get a chance to do some Quidorama and uh, Disenchantment, they are damn happy for they have something new to work with. And I s I've seen some Quidorama, it's, I like it. It's getting uh, revived again. Nice. And I've seen some, um, a lot of episodes, almost, honestly, there's a new season I forgot about. Of this enchantment, and that's damn good. And, and yeah, I say this, finally we're here. I I, I say we I can, I can say this. I would recommend for the Roma, especially this enchantment. I could definitely it is, uh, recommend this enchantment to Hillian. Oh, it's it's definitely his kind of humor. For it's not recycled Simpson humor. It's more of. Basically, they, you, you feel that they have a fresh air and a lot of fun working with this one. I've seen little bits of it, mostly from the trailer, but it does give me a Futurama slash Family Guy feel to its humor in there. Well, I can say this from watching it. It's better than Family Guy way better than Family Guy. It does... It has some... Some things I guess could lean towards it, but they have a lot of their own that's way better than Family Guy. Okay. Let's see. It's good to see you, Amy. In front of you lies the town of Monagam. Uh, or Monagam... Yeah, I think I'm pronouncing it right. The home of the dwarves. Dwarves can be a little shy of strangers, but they desperately need help, especially at the moment. Their skill at metalworking has always been a case of suspicion and mistrust for elves and swamp goblins, and many find it strange that they like to live in, uh, that they like living in dark caves. Many an elf even believes Monagam is within the legendary Shadow Realm. You're wrong, of course, but I'm sure you know uh, you must know how rumor can spread. Wait, Monagam? Monagam. Yeah, one thing I do like about this place as well is that it's obviously built for people who are dwarf sized, like these railings here. Amy could trip over these. Yep. Uh, Monagam. I recognize that. That's part of Norse mythology. Okay. It's a creature. Hey, a fairy collector. Oh, how nice. As you are also an enthusiastic fairy collector. I found this strange fairy on a long journey. It throws bolts of lightning. However, I now specialize in air fairies. I would like to trade my energy fairy for the air fairy Fathrial. Do you agree? I think I think we have one of those, but we don't have them with. Be right back. I need to clean my glasses. Apparently, something got stuck on them. I don't know how. Okay, that's a portrait. <laughs> okay, okay, I need to see this. I need to see this before I clean my glasses. Okay. <laughs> that a looks close like up. Let's see. We big healing potion and the chest we can't open. And there we go. 
Okay, Rune of the Cave World. And a bedpan. Let's ignore that. Are all you humans so tall and skinny? As you are a very experienced collector, you even have the legendary magic uh, fairy cards. They vanished from sight a long, long time ago. I don't know who stole and hid them, but I'm amazed that a human uh, should have found them. Uh, you're still missing one card, though, the fairy card of fire. You need it so that the fire fairy can protect you from great heat. Where might you find this card? I'm afraid I can't help you there. We dwarves had it once, but I have no idea where it is now. And, of course, it wouldn't be a dwarven place without the sounds of smithing all over the place. Back. And uh, what was it you ran away from in terror? I didn't run any away, from, away from anything this time. Something about the bed? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a bed pan. What the heck is a bed pan? <laughs> <laughs> For once, you are the innocent one, so you can go Google that if you want, or not. Okay, so it's not that weird... In olden times. So it's one of those, uh, wait, isn't it one of those weird things appearing in Paris Caribbean that looks like a waffle iron, but you put it under the bed to warm it up? Nope, not at all. Oh. Wait, okay, now I'm confused, and you're calling me innocent? What? But it's apparently not a chamber pot for... Yeah, it is for basically that. that. Uh, but oh. on the diff... <laughs> hmm. A stranger in our town? A rare sight. We dwarves have very uh, few visitors, let alone ones as droll as you. <laughs> but since you removed the great rock from our entrance, you deserve a reward. Take this bag of crystals. It should be very useful. If you have any question, any more questions, don't hesitate to visit me at any time. Fifteen crystals. But yeah, bed pans are basically chamber pots that are well kept at the bed for well relieving after getting out. <laughs> Let's see, art of the dwarves. Once upon a time, we dwarves were masters of uh, of smithery. We created all manner of magnificent machines using the hot mountain blazes. Sadly, this art has been lost through the ages, and you know, throughout, you no, know, through the ages, and the entrance to the mountains has disappeared. What? Fire what? fairies. Fire fairies are rare in Zanzara. The shadow elves still carry a few, which makes them dangerous opponents. Maybe you can find one of the rare evolutionary stones. You might be able to use it to create a fire fairy. And with that, he means Tinnifold. What? This sounds so damn sad! Uh, like, like we pointed out earlier, the, the world of Sanzara is basically undergoing a long apocalypse already. With the, Amy, don't run off the freaking edge. With a lot of arts being lost. Hello, you you might be the first female dwarf that we've run across. Come closer. Don't believe it. My lasse, captured by the druids. You've got to save him. Okay, straight to the point, and that's the same dumpy looking portrait. Is dumpy even the correct term? Or is, is, is that even a term? Dumpy? <laughs> nope, and and yeah, that's the dwarf factory. <laughs> let's yeah, let's head there right now. And yeah, this place is a bit run down, as you can see. The derelict uh. dwarf factory. This must be where it all started. What the heck? Yep, this is where they made the metal fairies. Oh, I thought also the blueprint for making a giant one. 
Sound the alarm, we've got an intruder. Oh, hello. Nobody may enter the ancient war factory. Get her, people. <laughs> okay, I forgot that this was a thing that happened. So, yeah, this is the third and final stage of the Metal Fairies. Gigarex. What the... uh, Gigarex? What the heck? And I have to say, I am rather tempted to make a 3D print into, you know, of this thing. Why? <laughs> because as freaky as it looks, it's, it, it might be one of my favorite designs in this game. Simply because it looks so absolutely freaky. Weird. And... Oh. What the... All right, for some reason, fire isn't effective against the Metal Fairies. In fact, vulnerable to it, for some reason. Uh, and, yeah, Metal Fairies are rather powerful, as you can see. They're very powerful. <laughs> Luckily, we only s just spawned in here. Dwarf factory. This must be where it all started. And yeah, there's someone in the back there. So this time, let's not waste any time with Tinazard up front. And actually, oh right, I forgot that you can swap between a grid and a list here. There should be somewhere that we can see the list of what is vulnerable and effective against what in the game itself, I think. Is that... Yeah, here it is. And let's see. Metal is vulnerable to air, water, energy, and ice. So, yeah. Now with Oceana up front, hopefully we can actually take this this time without getting, well, riddled with bullets. Well, water and ice makes sense. Though, I think I, I, I have an idea of why they are not weak to fire. Probably because they've been forged by fire. Yeah, basically the meme uh, of Bane. Just replace darkness with fire. There we go. Now that only Gigarex is left, it's pretty easy. <laughs> Let's not fall down. I was born from fire, shaped by it, strengthened by it. Did I good, do a good pain impression? Yeah. <laughs> Did I even do it right? About, yeah. Back. <laughs> Yay! And now with the guards taken care of, we can actually go have a chat with this dwarf here. Quinlan. Human from a prophecy. Okay, you might want to get your eyes checked. They're a bit red. <laughs> All our hopes seemed forlorn. I was on my way to visit a friend of mine, a swamp golem named Rafi. Suddenly, shadow elves from the sinister depths of Zanzara attacked me. Those villains stole the staff of rule. I fought like a lion, but black magic brought me here instead. My own factory. When I wanted to leave, the metal fairies attacked me. My own creation. They're holding me here. I just don't believe it. The place of my greatest achievements has become a prison. This is where I hoped the white, the white druid the master of the realm of Klaus, to create the guards. A being that is half iron, half magic, and capable of traveling to the astral plane of the fairies. The guards sealed the portals to the human world to protect us from your ignorance. The druid really didn't have a very high opinion of you humans, even though he is human himself. But the separation was only intended to last for a limited amount of time. After all, what good is a world of magic which serves no one? So we created the prophecy. It said that, in time, an individual would be chosen, a human whom the fairies would follow, a great fairy master. 
his magic would overcome the guard and reunite the worlds. It was Ravi's task to watch over the human world, to wait and act once the right moment had come. He possessed the last portal that led into your world. It was a room that could overcome the borders of Zanzara. I expect his reasons for choosing you will always remain a secret, so take this iron key and use it to open the dwarf's iron gates to the Shadow Realm. But be watchful, someone must have summoned the Shadow Elves. Only the White Druid possesses such power. I find it hard to believe, but a Druid does fear humans, and he loads chains. He could be very dangerous, both to you and to Zanzara. Never underestimate him. Yeah, I thought that zombie was up. Yeah, it's the oh. white druid is behind everything. Yeah, he was rather weirdly adamant about like the way that does it make sense. And one more book. A long time ago, Quinlan, the dwarf master and the druid created the guard, a being that was half machine, half magic. Since then, the guard has protected the world of fairies from the humans. But according to the laws of magic, every kind of magic will end one day. The magic powers of the guard have long run out. Its magic powers are reversed, and now it is torturing the creatures it was initially meant to protect. These evil powers of the guard are destroying Fensera. There are legends about a heroine who will be called to put an end to the evil spell. But not even the most ancient scrolls mention what will happen thereafter. Okay, should be pretty freaky that they got Amy down to her bloody clothes in the pictures. Yeah. Um, Surprise it. Wait, hold on. I saw something strange. Never mind. Wait, okay. A wild one. Yep. I believe the factory is the only place where you can find wild uh, metal fairies, I believe. Oh, and. Come on, he can't hear you. We're going to capture one and make a Gigarax. Oh, no. Oh, yes, 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 that, but now I regret it. <laughs> that sap. And also, wait, do you see there? Turn around, look down, next to the boxes and behind you. What? You see something you don't want. You don't want to eat it? A mushroom? Well, there's uh, three of them. Four, actually. Uh, with how derelict this place is, I don't think I'd want to touch those mushrooms, even if they were fresh. I'm surprised they're even growing there. Uh, yeah. The, the true villain has been revealed, finally. And we still have an hour to go. Yep. So let's um, keep continuing to explore it here. Oh, yes, it is. This, the game's fun so far, but the lead up to the real villain was not a surprise. As quick he was uh, overly blaming the dwarves, it was painfully obvious. Okay, and this is an elevator that leads into the fire caves, I believe. Wait, wait. And yeah, we needed the elemental key of fire to get this to work. Ah, all right. I was gonna say, is that the orc thingy? But no, it was red, green, and gray, oh, brown. Hello, stranger. How do you like my smithy? I see you found tools of the dwarves. Great, now I can explore the magic of metal. And... Thanks to you, I can uh, use the magic powers of dwarf metal and create spells. Would you like his election? Yeah, he is our, well, <laughs> our magic merchant for the metal fairies, which makes sense since they're not natural fairies. It would also make sense that their spells are artificial as well. And he instantly gives us a full slot. <laughs> are, you, are you just going to give full ones on every time? Okay. Let's start with the big spells then. Oh, heavy metal, which is a mixed one. I told you dwarves like heavy metal. <laughs> Old armor. 100 more damage in case for critical hit. 
Just plain double damage. Metal arrow. No special features. Very quick. Uh, magnetism. Prevent an opponent from jumping. We've been hit with spells like with that effect before. Liquid metal or speed of light. Let's go with this one. 40% damage per hit. And we have all of these already, so might as well take the powerful ones. Scorching steel. Prevent status changes. Okay. So poison and such. Speed of light. 50% movement speed. Okay. And I think that should be all of the spells. Rusty Spear. Probability of critical hit increased by 60%. I still Rust don't know if that's cumulative or not. Rusty Spear? Th that's just cruel. Okay, I think we have all of the spells, or at least most of them. Okay. A garden? Oh, nice. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I think the dwarves have the most differing models of them all. Those eyebrows! Uh, what do you know about the fairy fire fairies? Fire fairies are especially precious beings in Sanzara. They're hard to find, so that is, to be precise, nobody has seen one since the ancient times. There are rumors that the house of the Dwarf Master holds fire fairies. Uh, these are inaccessible to us since the door mechanism was broken a long time ago. Okay, that must be the lever that we pulled earlier, but that wasn't broken. Oh, Oh, did they mean the elevator? The elevator was quote-unquote broken because the elemental keys were missing. And we can buy more potions and such here in exchange for crystals. So we might as well get a few. And hello. You must be the fire uh, seller. Yep. Selection. Oh, hello. Size spells. Mid migration of souls. 60% faster movement speeds. That is quite a bit. Spiritual power. And there we go. Fire spells. Fine enough, freaking Lee. Rusty shields. Magic touch. No critical hit effect. Okay. Magic breath. 20% more damage and crits. Okay, spiritual power. Double. Nope, fire arrow. I have to say I like the music of this place quite a, a bit. Yeah, it's quite bad actually. It, it, sounds, it sounds quite different from the rest of the... Uh, uh, from the rest of Zanzar, which gives it a pretty fresh feeling, I'd say. Yeah, do What instrument are they using? No clue, actually. But some is recognizable, but then they are some that I don't recognize. Okay, I think that's about all we're going to get out of this. So, fine, freaking Lee, after who knows how many streams now. Tinazard is getting new spells. And he still only has one. Yeah, do we even have any other? No, we don't have any other spells that have only one. He's not getting any new spells then. Well, not offensive oh, spells, at least. Seriously? Okay. Please, Let's put the critical me... hit one on. Please tell me the other five fairies are better than him. Uh, let's see if we can get our hands on another fire spell that has only one bolt or one warp. Hmm. Oh, that's a new one. Psy wave. Opponent whirls around. We've had, we've met that stupid effect already plenty of times. Hmm. 
Okay, I think we're going to be stuck with flame still. But at the very least, we have a backup now, so we we have more spells to use before they burn out, quite literally. Okay. Mana potion. Uh, mana potion. And everyone is pretty reasonable on the health. Okay. I also have to say I quite like the design of the places here with the triangle windows and such. Yeah, it, it looks very nice, this place. Um, Dude, that's a lot of metal for a roof. Actually, before we go in there, let's head back to London. London? Okay. Yeah, the teleport place is right there over there anyways. Okay. And then we swap Jum Jum out for a moment. For... Okay, we don't have Fraudville, but we do have Goryal. Minari. Okay. Uh, let's see. Didn't we get the description of this one? An artificial being created by dwarves. Like other metal fairies, this mechanical masterpiece uh, with its dead blue eyes is out of this world. And then let's see, where are they? Tools of the dwarves. There we go. There are the evolutionary stones for the metal fairies. And then we have what? Megari. The metal garment of this robot makes it in... An inimitable battle machine. Battle machine. <clears throat> it may appear to be very uh, a very rough construction at first glance, but its technical finesse and double metal wings will soon prove the opposite. And then, last but not least, Gigarax, who has well quite high stats, as you can see. The only thing it's low in is special. In her artificiality, Gearex has an advantage over the technique of all machines. She approaches her unsuspecting opponents like a deadly scorpion, allowing them only to hear the low scratching noises of metal. <laughs> yeah, these things are powerful. And immediately they can equip a very strong spell as well. So, let's see. Pins and needles. There we go. Two, two, five. And it's here, and it whirls them around if it's critical hits. And then we can put metal pin, which is almost the same in stats, but a bit more higher in mana and well, extra damage on a crit. And then let's see, we can even we can up the damage even more. <laughs> so there. But you fix fix that? I will refill my gloss. So, don't die. Okay, let's double check. Metal is strong against fire. So let's le let's have Gigarex lead on in the fire caves. See how that goes. Plus, now we're getting mooned by fiery ass whenever <laughs> this camera zooms in close like that. Okay. Open this up again. I don't actually know if that would have been broken if we passed by the factory or not. No, then we go. A metal ass fiery. <laughs> no. Yes, you did. Flash, flash by a fiery ass, but it's actually made of metal. <laughs> We have so much to discuss later, Helia, on definitions. Okay, uh, actually, <laughs> hmm, we can't, I don't think we can go here yet. Because we don't have the elemental card of fire. So if we get too far into this area without it, we, well, first off, yeah, <laughs> all of this bloody lava here. Let's put Goryar in front. 
<laughs> and try not to die. Yeah, if I remember correctly, we can only go so far into this place. Crystals! Right. Ouch! Yeah, you have been... <laughs> you just get cooked by the freaking air. Actually, so, let's see, how far can we actually get? Uh, you what? Thumbs up! Yeah, you you actually would start choking and burning just being this close. Um, and yeah, what this was is that? this is basically just a dragon fairy. What was his name? Dragwing. Uh, Dragwing. Sorry, well, I was so shocked I burped. You want a new model? <laughs> What? Wait. Wait, what happened there? Hold I on. don't remember fire. Does this thing have a reflection spell? I, I really should check the spells that the fairies have. A lot more. Uh, you, we are catching you. We are catching you, little bastards. Stop. Is that you? Yeah, capture this fairy. Are you and... sure you captured it and not killed it with the uh, bug supper? Nope. And we got toasted, but did we at least? Did we at least? Yes, we kept the fairy. Dragwin. Yeah. Dragons are adherents of the elements of fire and a special kind of flying companion, Dragwing, can be trained to become a flag wind using an elementary stone of fire. Uh, and we have one of those stones. But first we need that bloody card of magic fire so we don't get choked out in here. Uh, hmm. Rafi might won't know where to find that thing. So back to the fairy garden we go. I think I'm getting a bit flash too much in the eyes every time with that teleport. Yeah, it's a bit unnecessary flashy. Yeah. At the very least, it's not like Techno Mage, where it's just <laughs> almost trying to <laughs> cause seizures. I mean, that was made before seizure warnings. Yeah. I'm afraid there's not much I can do to help you now, Amy. The entrance to the Sinister Shadow Realm has been opened. It lies in the misty swamp behind the old tree. But don't be hasty. You don't need to know what all the secrets and places. Uh, yep, you don't ne yet know all the secrets and places of Sanzara. Try to find the lost fairy cards first and open the door to the fiery depths of Sanzara. One more thing: using the rare and precious evolutionary stones, you can change some fairy's elemental class, by making them evolve. You will need to do so desperately. Yeah, he's talking about Tinnafall because. You basically need a Tinnafall to get farther into the fire caves. Or lava caves, whatever the accurate name would be. I just, I mean, I just realized something here. I might be wrong. Hmm? I might be wrong with this. Why do we have seizure warnings more and more on games? I feel like there's less and less games using anything that you would post seizure warning. True. There are still a few I, here and there. Yeah, I think I have a, uh, a guess. It says, many knew the issue with epilepsy uh, about flashing lights. But also, even if you don't have epilepsy, flashing it's lights is just also usually just plain annoying otherwise. Yeah. <laughs> so they okay. have. Tons of reasons to not do it. Yeah, because even people who aren't vulnerable to uh, epileptic seizures would complain. Because it's just plain painful on the, on the eyes. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Oh, dear. Everyone in our, in our group is up. Oh, no. 
All right, here, then go ahead, make the yolks. What? A mushroom versus a flying knife. <laughs> well, more like half the kitchen set. Yep. <laughs> Don't you see what they're referring to? Oh, it fricked. It was using a freaking defense spell again. But. Yeah, that was a level 9 Giga Rex taking out a level 30 Avery. Oh, boy. Yeah, his laugh is something, huh? I call it a laugh. Nope. Okay, there's something being asked. But yeah, that goes to show just how freaking powerful the metal fairies are. Even, no, if, if, <clears throat> there was still the, the elemental advantage, but still, level 9 beating a level 30. Yeah, that's embarrassing. Uh, also, actually, about embarrassing. Um, I saw on a, a uh, 100 days video of someone playing Ark 100 days and the chance was to finish a map with only die wolves and um, he died to a dumb beetle. <laughs> That's a pretty shitty way to go. Yeah. And the only reason he did not cut down was, well, that part of that 100 days video was live streamed, so yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the dwarves were innocent, the, and the druid is the one who summoned the shadow elves. That's my swarm bubbles. Now you've got me totally confused. Yeah, it's going to be hard for these people to accept that. They've basically been betrayed by the ones that were supposed to be protecting them for, well, centuries, possibly even millennia. Yeah, so he, they said, it was mentioned he did not like change. And he had very big distrust towards humans. Yeah. The guy must be a complete asshole at the supermarkets, right? <laughs> that he's just counts out every freaking penny to, because he just doesn't want to get change. Oh dear. That's why I just pay by with... Uh, I don't know what it actually translates to. It's not a credit card, or at least not a credit card like uh, it's known in America, where it just has a certain amount of... Hmm. You may have payment It has a certain card? amount of charge to it. Uh, a payment card would probably be the closest. But basically, I, I just use that to pay directly from my bank account uh, without having to hassle with uh, physical money much. Yeah, same. I think that's it. I think that's a rather common. And yeah, this Maybe is the entrance to the Shadow say. Realm. Holy. Seeing you in here, Amy, is ample compensation for the long wait in the bleak, musty swamp. Out of you is the other side of Zanzara, the place where you can create a balance between light and dark. Before you lies the Shadow Realm. None of us can follow you there and, and help you. You're on your own. Trust in the magic powers of your fairies and fulfill your quest. Pardon? Okay, a single red beetle. Hmm. Oh, t frogs! They look so hungry. Hey, froggy, froggy, this froggy. Gets interesting. And yeah, as you can see, th this is the pl same place that's <laughs> that the the pixie uh, collector uh, has his basement lead to. Yep, and the ad said this. The voice actors. Actors actually turned quite good there. Yeah, it's, it's just a shame that uh, overall Amy has the personality of a plaque of cardboard. 
Yeah, and she doesn't get. It's only she doesn't get too much to work with. But here she actually got to work with, with a bit more emotion. Like she actually sounds nervous. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Move those back. I just can't take these shadow elf series when they sound like they've been kicked in the balls just right before they speak. Um. He was kicked by the ball in the balls. Let's see. Oh, correction. I smashed, I smashed a hammer against his balls. Turnox. Oh, oh, hello. High level much. Level 47, 51, 46, 55, 53. And here we are at level 11, 39, 36, 12, and 38. We do, don't we? Now we still have type advantages, but we will have to be careful. Wait, a new arena? Yep. Looks kind of nice. Yep. Yes. Uh, a water fairy for this one, I believe. Yep. Okay. Let's just try and quickly deal with you. Yep. They got away. Um, how is metal against water? Actually, didn't. Actually, we used I... water against metal earlier. So let's just go with nature. Oh, right. Now I know why I'm burpy. I open a new bottle. Okay. Nigarex can deal with the fire types. Okay. Switch to poison because that has proven to be work to work in the past. I I think I'm gonna do a rule of if if I'm going to stream, I should probably open a, a bottle of the what did I drink the day before just to reduce the carbonation. <laughs> probably. For, yeah, when you open a fresh bottle like that, yeah, not even ice is enough to reduce most of the carbonation. Yep. Uh, Got it. Yep. For <laughs> Am I going to become the burping lizard? Good chance. And yeah, it looks like we might have to go level up somewhere all the same. Yeah. Did it even take one day to grind? Uh, no, I think we said that we would probably go grind at one point. But so far it hasn't been needed yet. Get in the freaking firing line, you. Yep, okay, and that is a little. In a way. Or we just got distracted. Uh, that and busy would work. Do we have one yep. of those offensive spells on you? <laughs> For the wolf. You know what? I should eat something very spicy, then something very carbonated. Then I yes. turn into a living flamethrower. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Wait, did one of them giggle at the same time as me? Yep. <laughs> what the heck? Yeah, yeah, we are going to oh, miss that one. We are going to need to level to get to, to here. But yeah, there are uh, still plenty of places that we can explore, I believe. Uh, uh, let me forget. The dragon we caught. Is that dragon very good? I don't remember. But we can probably try and level that instead of Tinazard. Yeah, for that, that one hopefully should be able to have more offensive spells and also i have a request about the dragon no you want it to be named yes after yourself oh, no. of course i i have the perfect name for it after all okay well, this is where it gets interesting. Oh, and it's it swapped out its fairies 
Okay, let's just quickly grab the loot here. Uh, ignore whatever the hell that is. You mean both? And let's see. Where would be other areas that we can access now? We still need to find the fire card. And there is also still, if I remember correctly, a side card. So I guess the best we can do at the moment... Um, actually, we should go to London and get Jum Jum back. And get flashbanged yet again. You hungry? <clears throat> no, we need Jum Jum to get rid of any boulders we run across. You're gonna feed a boulder? <laughs> you, you're, you're making me worried here, Helian. Uh, a rock you don't eat. Okay. Uh, we can put Gigarex aside for the moment. Swap out yeah. Dragwing. Jum Jum. <laughs> Gigarex sounds so. Oh. It has only that. What level is it? Level 11. Uh, we can bring it along to level it for a bit. And see if it gets yeah. any better spell slots than uh, Tinazard. Yeah, only 11. Yeah, it is low level, so... Make explain why it doesn't have too many new uh, spell slots. Okay, back to the fairy garden. Um, yeah, well, well, what do you need to rename it? We, are, we have plenty of those. We have uh, Molding Magic, as it's called. And that should be somewhere around here. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Tremble before me! Okay, anything to say, Rafi? Probably not, or anything new to say, I should... Yeah, he's, he's basically telling, go explore, you dumbass. Wait, well, we shall. Now that we have the nature, stone, earth, and air uh, fairy cards, we should be able to get most everywhere in the game. All shall tremble before me, for I drank an entire bottle of sriracha. Oh, you've got a pixie bag. It's good to see someone dealing with those pests. Pixies cause chaos. They make our home in our larders and knock us. Okay. Yeah, I so hope I miss her, NBC. Uh, tournaments. Best fairy monsters used to meet in the legendary. Room. I think we've heard that before. A fairy bag. Your fairy bag can hold up to five fairies at a time. You will find all other fairies at your home. Since you're from the human world, your fairies should be there too. Okay. Which basically means that the astral world, where is, which is where the fairies naturally reside, uh, is somewhere be between Zanzara and the human world. Otherwise, they wouldn't be able to cross over because of the guardian. Or the guard. Sense? And it seems that nothing wants to screw with us now that we've got a dragon following us. Um. Let's see, do you have anything new to say? I know for a fact that the owls don't get any new dialogue. Did you ever see anything more beautiful than these magic silver spheres? However, they can be used to catch all fairies. You'll need special spheres to get stronger, more experienced fairies. Not sure if we read that last time. <clears throat> but yeah, at the moment, all we can really do is, well, explore and grind. Actually, there was another... Now that we've got the key for the iron gates, we, I think we should also be able to open the door in the catacombs. As well as the one near the forest hut. There was a gate there as well. No one hmm. wanna challenge me. <laughs> Apparently not. Are everyone afraid of me? Cowards. Wimps. 
Okay, now with the air cards, we can also go check out a bit more over here. Hmm. Maybe some worthy challengers here? Uh, let's have a quick check. Chaos is vulnerable to air, nature, light, and fire. Okay, so any Chaos Fairy spawning in, we can swat with uh, our new little dragon as well. Chaos shall be purged by my holy fire. Uh, I get the two into the roll. <laughs> Okay, crystal sphere. And then... Yep. <laughs> we fall into the vortex below. Okay. Now you people wonder, how did he... Uh, he didn't get back up. Oh, so simple. I had to carry him back up. Skelbo. We don't have this fairy and we should have plenty of silver spheres. Ooh, new shooting bone. <laughs> oh, for a moment I thought you instant killed him. But you're almost dead. What the? <laughs> God, it is a dragon. Of course it's going to roar. And a new spell level in... Oh, come on. In the secondary set. I mean... Yeah, we don't have any flame spells to spare since this, <laughs> the despair one is on Tinazard. Okay, let's try this again. Save! Just in case. A save won't put us back exactly where we started. Uh, but it will ensure that that Skelbo stays captured. Nope. Bloody heck. Another crystal sphere. And a garlic atomizer. Again, people, I apologize for all the burping. Okay, let's just use the runes to get the hell out of here. And then we continue on over this way. We already know what's one in one direction. There you go, at least that drink is cut done and over with. And uh, no, I'm not drinking soda. Carbonated water or something, maybe? Uh, kind of closer to that, yeah. Because mm. it, it is carbonated water. It has a bit of extra flavor. It's... Yeah, it's not a diet drink or anything, but it's a very good placement drink for soda. Okay. Since it's basic. Less than half the Coca-Cola, really. And it sure tap is very different as well, since it's from actual pear and such. Instead okay. of whatever sugar they use in Coca-Cola. So this heads back to the mountains. I'm not too sure if we can find much different here. Um, yeah, I think we'd have to go to the catacombs or the forest huts to get any much new areas. Or any real new areas to explore. Ooh, dinner! We don't have one of these, so we're going to capture one. Um, yeah, let's just head for the catacombs, find what we can find there. And if not there, then we go hunt down the forest hut again. As we you hunt a hut. Yeah, I don't... yeah, but we're hunting. I don't recall exactly where it is, but I do believe it's down the other way from the fairy village. For now, though, 
Getting in here. Uh, Drag wind can deal with any chaos fairies we find, and we have Oceana for any dark fairies. And this should open up now. I hope. Yep, there we go. I think that key, I think that little key animation is the same as uh, one or two of the Harry Potter uh, computer games with the L.O. Mora spell. What? Are you telling me Harry Potter's ripped off this game? Uh, more that it's a stock animation thing. Oop. Akratiar. This is a Chaos Fairy. Fly! Oh no, this. This is probably going to be accurate to how I behaved around flies. Freaking. Freaking spin spell. There we go. Just be gone. A lot of flies. Hmm. And no, I don't need flies. Okay, that was not... Well... I don't know what to say if that's me burping or not. <laughs> but bloody heck, the f little thing is loud! Well, again, it is still a freaking dragon, even if it's a tiny one. Fairy dragon, you mean? It looks more like a... Pygmy dragon, okay. Virbling or whatever they call those again. Um, now that Harry Potter has come up, I am considering at one point let's playing one or a, a few of the. Oh crap! Yep, <laughs> there goes all the experience that would have gone to Dragwin. Uh, but yeah, I, I am thinking about. Ooh. Event. <laughs> you on? Uh, I'm thinking about at one point perhaps streaming a few of the Harry Potter games, or at least the early ones. Because those are pretty fun games. That's just the fact that, uh, yeah, JK Rowling has proven herself to be an absolute bitch over the years. Yeah, I. Yeah, I, ever since I heard, understood she's been a rather anti... Is that, nope. can, can, I, can I even say that on Twitch? Um, not sure what words you're going for. But yeah, she's been she, a, an idiot. To she, put she it in have a, a way. She's been doing propaganda against a certain group of people. Yeah, I know the words you I mean. <clears throat> I, I okay. feel like I should be able to say it, but I, but I do fear it may be taken out of context for some reason. The hell did we find down here now? But, yeah. She's a rather intolerant person, to say the least. So I yeah. kind of lost a lot of respect for her, so yeah. Yeah. Why well, I enjoyed Fantastical Beasts more than Harry Potter? I, I have a hard time to feel excited for any movie based on her work. Yeah, there's also the bullshit with uh, Johnny Depp and Amber Heard that led to them kicking him off the project. Yep, even though it seems to me more that he's innocent. Yeah. There's also the fact that he is evidence of uh, being abused by her instead of her being abused by him, of which she has, well, no evidence. <laughs> yeah. Or if it, any evidence she does have is flimsy at the very least, at the very best. Yeah, I think I even heard that one of the evidence proved that she was the abuser. I wouldn't be surprised. And we're going to capture this little shit, so we have an actual dark fairy as well. Yeah, I even heard that. A lot of lawyers are abandoning her. 
Go away. Nope. You can not save you with this. You own your own. Nope. Even more crystal spheres. Actually, heard, ain't that a oh. bad sign when your own lawyers abandon you? Yep. Uh, let's see. Fairy horn. The sound of this horn lures every fairy out of its hiding place. Use it whenever you think you'll meet the sleeping fairies. Yep. So basically, oh, we're no. basically we're sounding an alarm clock when they're trying to sleep. Of course, they're going to be pissed off at us then. I just imagine if you found one of those in real life, or had a horn in real life. I, I can say this. If you have a trumpet or something, the first thing I would do if you ever visit my home or try to stay at near nearby hotel or something, is to make sure you did not pack the trumpet. <laughs> oh, Bioelectra. Level 50 energy fairy. Uh, oh. Wait. Is she wearing clothes? I'm not and sure. String? And brain? Um. I. Um. I'm concerned. Uh, I'm concerned for a different reason because this thing is packing a punch. And I'm not sure if we have something that is effective against energy. Or at least not yeah, freaking equipped. Okay, come on, I need a critical hit before Bonaria bites it. Damn it. Okay. Come on, he's... Oh yeah, not effective at all. Is there anything that's effective against energy? Stone? Nope. Yep, it's effective, but it's not effective enough. And I think that it, this is going to cost. Yeah, this is going to cost us the fairies that we caught here. I would think. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, yeah. This game can be rather punishing. Yeah. Almost a bit Cause... unnecessary punishing. Yeah, now we lost those, and we need to go get that stuff again. Oh. Oh, well. At, at least we didn't lose, like, an hour of progress like you could in some games. And that, it is at least somewhat forgiving that it sends you to the last checkpoint instead of the last time you saved. Yeah, though it's pretty still good to save often. Especially after capturing new fairies. Yep. This spell again. I will eat you. I shall roast you like the chicken you are. Uh, I do like that besides the, the area, the color scheme of the platforms also changes depending on what you're fighting. <laughs> mm. Okay. Let's grab that and that. And then we go down here to go grab the fairy horn again. Because that is going to be very useful for grinding. Because yeah, basically actually, it's going to work the same as the water as the ocean kong. Oop, volunteer. Yeah, you should probably save after grabbing it. Yeah. For a moment I thought you were about to fall through the world. And it's gone. Yeah, that just shows how much of an effect uh, this type advantage has in this game. Those were those were weak shots even. Bloody heck. <laughs> Of course, you remind, remind me of the Digimon Cyber Slow for the type adventures there. And then you can have double weakness, like... There's a virus state and vaccine. Then you have the elemental types. Yeah, So you may end up doing... 
Yeah, you can end up doing like 300% more damage. Or... Okay, I think I told you this before, but I'm not told you on the stream. I was to face a boss in the game, I'm not saying, I'm gonna say who. But he was bragging he was the strongest Digimon of the, a certain group. I send in Lilithmon. And she is his elemental weakness and type weakness. And the first thing she does... Remember, this is a boss fight late in the game. And she one-shots him. <laughs> with a kiss. Yeah. And not only that, she did not only one-shot him. It was not only, only elemental bonus and type bonus, but also a critical. A uh, critical existence <laughs> failure on his end. And yeah. Yeah, and I had leveled up her intelligence massively, so... Special attacks, extra damage. Oop, Turnox. Yeah. It, 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 I started laughing. So hard for all that shouting and bragging in rage. I was instant defeat by a damn kiss. I'm going for a capture. I'm just going for a kill here because I I'm going to be sparing with crystal spheres since they're they're so freaking expensive as well. Well, I sound like Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Ah, uh, much better. And she had level oh. 39. She had nice little sounds like Mickey. I was. Oh. Okay, give me that. Uh, let's see. We have about 15 minutes to go still. So let's go check out the other side of the catacombs. And after that, if we still have time, we can go to the forest huts and go to the area where the light fairies should be. Okay, let's get a decent charge. We don't want to capture. There. Easy enough. Let's see. I think we should be able to find either the magic card of fire or the magic card of Psy somewhere in one of these areas. Or in by that I mean the catacombs or uh, the, where you can find the light fairies. Oh no. Now my brain be around him again. No. Now I'm stuck with the fairies doing Oppo uh, uh, Nam Nam style. <laughs> uh, Gang Nam style, I mean, not Nam Nam style. <laughs> That's a completely different thing. Yeah, I, I think that Nam Nam style is my joke parody. Okay, there we go. I'm pretty sure but even yeah. the decorations on these blocks changes with different types. Uh, fun fact, I think this singer that made open uh, Gangnam Style is named Sai. Yep. Uh, as oh, in PSI, I believe. Or Rick I I forget which. Yeah, but it's still similarly pronounced. Also, should it be worth as to why this place is filled with human skeletons? What the? Yeah, you're right. Is that an... Is that an oversight? Or did Elus usually... Once were taller? Now we know that the worlds used to be connected. Were one and the same. Until they got split. That could have been that there were still humans here. For a while at least, and really only a gold sphere, well, so we could have just found two at the entrance. Hmm. 
And yeah, that's it for the catacombs, it seems. So, let's see. There is a place near Tyrolin. Actually, we're just happen from... <laughs> we're basically just skipping a bit of travel like this. But... Mm, I believe there was an area we could only reach using air eddies over this way. And now that I think about it, I think the forest hut is down that, that, that way. Or was it... Actually, no, I think it was this way. I believe there's Were a part of the forest that we haven't explored that way. Were you about to say death way instead of that way? I think so. <laughs> Well, that helps confidence. Okay. I think it was at the other... Yeah, there were air eddies where we could cross. Or... Actually, now that I think about the air eddies might be a shortcut to the forest huts. Hmm. Oh, well. We'll still have a bit of time to find out if that's true or not. I don't think we really have a use for summoning fairies here, since they'd be very low level. Did so. level 30 find, fight you or defeat you here? Ooh, okay, big I don't remember this place. There's not even any glitters here. So, yeah, we're going to have to get used to that ticking noise every time that we can uh, that we can summon a fairy to fight. I think they're here. Oh, hello. And yes, that's how wolves howling. Come on, Vulcan pinch. I did not fail this time. Hmm. Okay, I'm pretty... Okay, it must be on a different entrance. Now, either way, we're here, and this sign should read Forest Hut. Yeah, to the Forest Hut. Okay. Hmm. We should be able to get through this quick enough. Um, yeah, any nature fairies that are cost us, we can just... <laughs> we can just... Actually... Uh, F5. We can use this one on the fairy to evolve it. Do you want to do that? Since it's named after you? Oh? Hmm? Yes, please. Evolution yes. could make me stronger. Flagwin. Actually, we, sh we should have let we should have read this out on Dracoin first. Uh, Dra oh, actually, we did read it out earlier. <laughs> yeah, I was say we did read that. Dragons love to spend a lot of time in lava-filled craters, though they may also live in the heart of mountain caves. Dracoin and Flagwin are both extremely useful, but equally hard to tame. All right then. Oh, that does does that mean we can get more attacks now or something? Mm, might. Oh, definitely, yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, do we have anything that attacks faster than this? Okay. Two, two. All of them are two. Uh, let's not do fire arrow because of how low that one is in the uses. So, ball of fire. Then we can put a fire arrow on that. And magic breath there. Okay. Fear me. <laughs> I hunger for sriracha. Uh, and chicken burger. Let's get, try and get to the forest huts, open the gate on the other side of it, and just grab as many goodies as we come across along the way. I don't think it is required to unlock the catacombs or the area where the light fairies are. I believe it's called a ruins something or something ruins. Should we save? 
This is a precaution. Oh, it's this pool again. Cilia. Okay. Come here. Oh. Look is mostly the same, but it is a bit darker colored. Yeah, you got a bit more detail on the tail as well. And I think also a bigger mohawk. Well, a different colored mohawk. Oh, come on with the freaking protection spells. Okay. There we go. Yep, and accidental capture. Uh, let's not. Nope. Okay, now we can take a test as to what this stupid pool actually does. Because it's supposed to do something. Let's have a look. The cure. Okay, a bit hurt. A bit mana used. 566 six experience. Okay. Okay, it doesn't seem to have done anything. Okay, I'm, I'm pretty sure this pool was supposed to do something. Like heal, or maybe it cleanses status effects. Which would be rather random. Huh, maybe it's doing something important later. Uh, it, it's just an oddity. It, it doesn't have any uh, plot relevance, actually. It's, well, just there. This is how, okay. how the forest hut is here. <clears throat> Pardon? Forgiven. My water bottle is bloody empty again for the first time in quite a long time. But I miss you being thirsty. And again, it's also been, well, almost three hours now. Um, okay, the gate okay, should be true. at the other side here. Guys, it takes you three hours to drink up a bottle, when you should have only two hours. Yep. Oh, pixie. Okay, come here, you. There. Or can pick. Damn it. I've been very laid off on that. Tinnifal, we could capture one to fill in our book again. We, we already have one still, but we need we could use one for evolving with the uh, with the nature or air car uh, stones. Before after I tear down his uh, chopper. Or, what is that he's using? A cryocopter? Sort of. A, yeah, a gyrocopter would be the closest, I think. It, it, what's the difference between a gyrocopter and a helicopter? Um, I don't actually know. <laughs> There's a bunch of fairies over there, and something glowy in, the, in that tree. So, let's revive. I just however I'd use that. Okay, how are they on mana? Pretty decent, but still... Going to top everyone up. And these are nature fairies. Okay. Hmm. I, I thought this would lead to the, the ruins. Okay. My my <laughs> my memory failing me again. Of course. You must own strong fairies to dare enter such a place, human child. If you defeat my friends and me in a fair duel, I will open the portal to the secret of this place. Are you ready to fight? Not much of a choice. 
Okay. A Fwoom, or how are you supposed heck? to say that? Blumella, 57. And more of these. Okay, this might be a tough fight, especially since we don't have Tinazard with us. And they're using this stupid spell to slow down our attacks. And they have Thorn Armor. Okay, oh, we might selfish. lose this. Yeah, we, I think we're going to lose this. <laughs> Because of their sheer numbers. And the fact well, that we, we're lacking it vented. It's at least one of them gone. It's the Thorn Armor ones. Freaking... Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's everyone gone. <laughs> okay, that is one big-ass drawback of, well, needing specific fairies for uh, movement stuff. Like, in Pokemon, how you need spe well, how you need it for a while to have, uh, yeah, Pokemon specifically for all of the HMs. So you could actually, well, Get around places. Okay. Hmm. Let's try and capture this one and then probably call it. And yeah, about uh, probably less than two minutes remaining. Yep. Actually, we did say to add five because I got called away. All right. But I don't think there is much we can. Add to. Uh, beside a, a little grinding. Yep. Come on, charge the stupid spell. And that is captured. I think. That okay, one actually ate him. him. That <laughs> Grumbling? Grumbling? I'm not sure there's an actual roar. Hmm. But oh, also, I'm sure we call it a growl. Hmm? I saw some sparkles in the distance. Um. Oop. Okay, for a moment I thought they came at us, but no, it's just a single one. Okay, uh, let's try and... Okay, it has something to... Some defensive spell, I think. And there, just playing gone with it. Um... Hmm. That's the 10 p.m. clock going off. Yeah, up. Oh. I'll probably uh, level. I'll probably yeah level Flagwind quite a bit to see how they and Tinazard match up. Actually, we can see how they match up in stats overall here. Uh, yeah, let's see. I have a name. Oh yeah, that is a lot more powerful. Okay, we are definitely training a <laughs> fairy Drakir then to replace Tinazard. And there's the bloody cards. Uh, <laughs> Uh, okay, the camera was completely wrong there because it was supposed to show these coins getting showered down. Okay. Well, we know where the card is. We know what we have to fight to get it. Uh, we just need to level up. We can probably bring Tinazard as a backup for then. But for now... Um... I think the Realm of Clouds might be the best place to train at the moment with fire types, since they're strong against that. Actually, we can triple check for a moment. Fire is good against nature 
air, ice, and chaos. Actually, we can I, we can go train in the mountains, like some sort of kung fu master or something, <laughs> as well as capture an ice fairy this way. Thank you for the mental image. So yeah, let's just oop. there we there we go. It needs to be it's it's very picky about where you need to be. So let's go capture a few ice fairies while we still have a bit of time. We're going to capture this one and a glacis to see how they <clears throat> to see how they match up in. Uh, in stats. Do you seriously wake a sleeping bear? Yep. yep. What do you have to say for yourself? Yeah, this teddy is going to sleep if it doesn't... There we go. It doesn't keep <laughs> freezing us. If it, if, yeah, if it keeps freezing us, it is. Okay. Get in the ball. And now that oh, now its little brother is coming to fight out as <laughs> coming to fight as well. Let's see if we can catch a glacis, then compare their stats. Oop. Didn't mean to capture it. Oh well, it's experience all the same. Uh the one that we captured probably is higher level than its actual evolution level, so we can use a golden carrot to... <laughs> you just get lost. We can use a golden carrot to crack, to make sure it evolves at the next level up. Uh, let's see. Bees. One, four, two, four. Beings of ice appear cold as ice and aloof. These original inhabitants of the polar regions used to work with the goblins, but nowadays it is hard to break the ice and win their trust. <laughs> what? Okay, there's a spawn point here. Let's hope this is a glacis. Because, well, the five extra minutes are... Oh, it's a grease. Let's get lost, you. And I will have, like, like less than a minute. Uh, yeah, if I can, if we can't get a glacis now, I'll just capture one off screen, and we're out of garlic already. Oh well, let's finish this fight, and then we'll probably call it, unless we somehow ran into a glacis in the last few seconds of the stream. Nope, there he is. And a new spell level, okay. <laughs> Almost another level. I probably could have captured that just for the comparison, but uh, well. Last. Okay, yeah, we'll kill this one and then we'll end the stream. Mm. So, yeah. <laughs> A, a bit of a late and long burnt stream because uh, my, it was my birthday yesterday. Um, yeah, let's recap. I I made the DS scene for future DS streaming. I'll have to use an emulator for that because I don't have a capture card for DS uh, for a Nintendo DS. And that matter, I'd say don't use. You know, uh, I'll, I'll not get into that at the moment because that is a, a bit of a big gray area. Uh, but yeah, save game and quick program. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's go. I'll <clears throat> I'll go grind a bit off screen, or at least I'll try to. Uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. In the meantime, uh, yeah, I uh, got the DS scene I'm working on in for future streaming of that. Uh, beyond that, beyond that, 
Yeah, we haven't decided on a game yet to do on the third day of streaming, now that we're done with Monkey Island. So we'll have to think on something to add on there instead. Or we go back to the uh, yeah showcasing and trying out games. Hmm. But did you say, sp speak about Rayman? Uh, I've I have that in the uh, <clears throat> in the pipeline for streaming. Uh, you mean to move that to uh, the Saturdays then, or quote unquote Saturdays, the third streams in the week? Good work. Hmm. That was Shantae. Yeah, I, I, I'd almost kind of forgotten that I wanted to stream Shante as well. But yeah, we could, we could put one of the other games that we intended to stream, uh, in eventually on Saturday, you know, on the third day or the, the third stream. Um, hmm. For now, though, let's see. For anyone to raid, uh, we All have. Right. I, I get a catapult. I get the catapult or cannons ready. <laughs> We have Shrimp OS who is streaming Wimworld, Cyber List, the List who is streaming Kirby Superstar, Brandon the Chihuahua streaming Stardew Valley, uh, New Gundam Gaming streaming Red Dead Redemption 2, and Storytime John streaming Pokemon Gold. Any of those catch your fancy? Unsure, but I don't know the, the free first one sounded like food. <laughs> Uh, uh, wait, what was the game they played again? Hmm? Who? I know one of them played Rim, Rim World. What, what did the other ones play? Uh, Cyber... Uh, uh, Cyder Delish, not Cyber. Uh, streaming Kirby Superstar. Then we have Stardew Valley, streamed by Brandon the Chihuahua. Red Dead Redemption 2, uh, being streamed by New Gundam Gaming. And Pokemon Gold. Uh, who, which is being streamed by Storytime John. I guess we sent uh, whoever plays RimWorld then. Okay. Uh, I forgot to mute Twitch again. So there was a bit of a fragment of a stupid ant. Okay. Got the... <clears throat> got the name. Moving to own channel. And slash raids, copy paste and go. All right then. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, yeah. We could put one of the games on Saturday until we find something to do that more frequently. Or well, streaming another game there is going to be pretty frequent, or a series. Uh. Yeah, beyond that, I can't really think of anything to say. We're going to have to look into earlier streams to fit between, well, the early uh, and late shifts. Probably going to be in the afternoon, somewhere between noon to about three, maybe. But yeah, we'll just, have to see on that. Yeah, we just have to plan it so we don't get too close when he needs to go to work. Like... Usually we can go overtime with some games just to finish off, but we are in a situation where overtime is likely yeah, not to be advised. For now, yeah. though, yeah, the, the raid <laughs> is about to start, so let's cut it off. <laughs> uh, thank you, anyone who has been watching now or later, and thank you, of course, as always, Rakir. Oh, you're most welcome, Captain. And yeah, next time when possible, more Zanzara after that. Probably Rayman, but until then, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, people. Watch out for nuclear seagulls. Come on.